Wall Street got the credit for this prosperity, and Wall Street was dominated by just a small group of wealthy men. Rarely in the history of this nation had so much raw power been concentrated in the hands of a few businessmen. Men like William C. Durant. It's almost impossible to realize the power and the significance of the men. Uh, in Flint, when Mr. Durant came to Flint occasionally, people used to say, Durant is in town. Just like that, Durant is in town. He was uh, bigger than life. Earlier in the century, Durant had founded General Motors. Now, he made his money on Wall Street. Backed by Midwestern auto industrialists, he controlled so much money that he could single-handedly drive up the price of a stock and then sell, reaping huge profits. He was just at the apotheosis, at the maximum of his power. He managed, according to the voices of the time, according to what was said, anywhere between two to five billion dollars, which in those days was fabulous. The market was filled with bulls, and he was the bull of the bulls. <laughs> 